La verdad de los testigos de Jehová, este miércoles 25 de septiembre a las 0.15 horas. The truth about Jehovah's Witnesses, this Wednesday, September 25th at 12.15. The truth of Jehovah's Witnesses. Estás ofreciéndonos la promesa de una vida feliz. Son los testigos de Jehová. En Australia una sentencia descubre los abusos sexuales a más de mil menores durante 60 años. Pero ¿qué pasa en España? La verdad de los testigos de Jehová. El miércoles a las 12 y cuarto de la noche. Aquí. What is the situation of Jehovah's Witnesses in Spain? In Australia, a court ruling reveals sexual abuse of more than a thousand minors over 60 years. In the new episode of The Truth About, the program explores the situation of Jehovah's Witnesses. Their followers knock on our doors, offering us the promise of a happy life. In Australia, a court ruling reveals the sexual abuse of more than a thousand minors over 60 years. But what is happening in Spain? The Truth About Jehovah's Witnesses, this Wednesday, at 12.15, on Talachinko. The following is an example of what can happen when groups join together. Rather than being a quiet stream trickling away on their own, they joined with other streams to become a mighty roaring waterfall. The people in Spain are doing great work. Like the groups in New Zealand and Japan, and all that they have achieved, and will continue to achieve, for everyone, including survivors of Jehovah's Witnesses. La Asociación Redune insta al Congreso a incluir la persuasión coercitiva de las sectas en el Código Penal. Red UNE Association urges Congress to include coercive persuasion of sex in the penal code. 300,000 signatures will be presented to Congress to provide a solution for victims of sex who want to report. The National Police urges people to report criminal activities by groups or leaders to sectus destructivas at policia.es. The National Police in an operation against a sect in Operation Killa. The Network for the Prevention of Sectarianism and Abuse of Weakness, Red UNE, will deliver this Thursday, September 26, nearly 300,000 signatures to ask parliamentary groups to launch a bill to include the definition of coercive persuasion in an article of the Penal Code. The aim is to give judges a tool that they have not had until now to be able to sentence when a victim reports psychological manipulation by a group, a leader, or any person. According to the president of Red UNE, Juanxo Dominguez, who spoke to RTV.es, if coercive persuasion were included, it would be a protection for all victims of the crime of violence, that is, from gender violence to human trafficking, including abusive dynamics of pseudotherapeutic groups, pyramidal groups, and different varieties of coercive groups. Spain needs legal regulation that criminalizes in an aggravated manner the promotion, constitution, organization, and the coordination or direction of a coercive organization. Dominguez explained that in countries such as France, Belgium, Luxembourg, and the United Kingdom, coercive persuasion and abuse of weakness in any type of social relationship are already included in their legislation. She also stressed that Spain needs legal regulation that criminalizes in an aggravated manner the promotion, constitution, organization, and coordination or direction of a coercive organization. They have the support of other associations and groups such as the Association of Victims of Jehovah's Witnesses, Psychologists Without Borders, and the family of Patricia Aguilar, a Spanish woman recruited by a sect in Peru, the case for which the collection of signatures began.